Hey, what's up you guys? This is Junior Trader and in this video, let's take a look at the tech stocks that is Microsoft, Apple, Meta, Netflix, Google and Amazon and we'll also take a look at S&P 500 and Nasdaq. Actually, we'll start off this video with S&P 500 and Nasdaq. So, let's jump right into it. Once I let you know, none of this is any financial advice and it's only for education purposes. So the very first thing let's take a look at the structure and the structure is still technically on s&p 500 negative you are seeing once we lost that blue box uh, my tool has already marked the structure negative and any rebound as if they have been coming they are just being still being sold off now what to look for on the lower time frame so this is for the date like overall structure is still negative okay that's still bearish now what to look for intraday tomorrow so let's go to the hourly interval and so it's a very simple trade plan actually for tomorrow on S&P 500 and pretty much just two level you are watching. If S&P 500 loses 547 and 91 cents area, this zone, 547 to 547 and 90 cents. If S&P 500 loses this tomorrow, it's just a continuation to the downside or, and, or well, if it can get above 550 tomorrow during the early market open, then above this it's an upside play but this is the level these are the two zones you are watching um either direction uh, will give the play accordingly and let's say in pre-market if we start to go a little bit up but still can get above 550 just keep a note on the lower time frame like five minutes interval you can use my indicators like my cloud and everything all those tools to identify if we are having a strong open above and if it if we do above the cloud um, on the lower time frame strong open so if i take it to the five minutes interval right um, and if i turn on my tool today was a little bit of a choppy day as you can see we first similarly you know the price action that you would have to see on the cloud is if you are seeing a strong at least intraday a strong close like above the cloud like here when the first few markets oh, sorry minutes of market open things can continue you know for the at least the day trade upside and then you just play according to until the structure holds right uh, once it turns red on my tool just you know and if you are above the cloud then i mean it's time to take profits for example today we had a good open we had a price structure change in the pre-market green and then we opened also good green and then we went all the way high up uh, in the rebound because overall structure as I showed you in the daily is still negative so you have to still obey those principles of the overall structure first and then once the rebound completed itself right over here you can see structure changed and when also structure after changing bearish it also broke the cloud you can see we went back down we did see a little bit later some rebound again came you can see structure changed green here and we got that bounce as well again my tools does this stuff automatically for you these color codings and what you things have to watch for if you need access to my tools links on the description below but this is what i'm trying to explain is that that level that i mentioned about on s p 500 these two levels and again same principles will apply across all stocks but for s p 500 i just went into a bit of a rabbit hole here uh, 550 and above continue higher and 547 below lower and those things on lower time frame that i just talked about what you have to watch for the structure is how you would use the tool as well for that and keeping in mind the overall you know the structure which still as i said technically is bearish right now i'm not seeing any higher highs we are just seeing lower highs and also on the hourly interval i'm still seeing uh, lower highs here structure still remains bearish though all right, QQ. Let's take a look at that. QQ um, structure on this, no surprise, has been negative for quite a few days. Um, you know, and we are just today also rebound. You can see it's just it's being sold off. Structure is still negative on this thing, or in other words, still bearish overall structure. And if I take you to the hourly interval, uh, what are the things to watch tomorrow, right? So today is again some rebound try to come, but as you can see, it got rejected underneath of the previous resistance level. And tomorrow, things are not looking good the way it's closing. Tomorrow, if we lose 458 and 64 cents zone, this zone, I expect you know more downside. If somehow, at this point, I would say if somehow we can get above 20 hours moving average and also 50 hours moving average, 
then some more rebound is possible so if it has to form a consolidation here for the upside strength at this point i would say let it get above 50 hours moving average as well otherwise no otherwise these are just tiny rebounds for the principles that are on lower time frame what you will use to trade rebounds or sell off right i just showed you on spy similarly you will use them on qq as well using my tools right okay so yes qq can continue lower right now if it fails to build any structure break 50 hours if it fails to break 50 hours moving average to the upside right now structure is looking negative but you have the levels to watch that i provided so right now it's not looking good structure is still negative microsoft so microsoft trying to come back up above that 200 days moving average but it's still rejecting structure on this is still technically bearish rebounds you can still are still are being shorted and sold off structure i'm not seeing uh, bullish on this yet it's still just in the negative structure here so what's how are things looking on the lower time frame so um on the hourly interval we are well still forming lower highs um and today's sell-off also happened on the hourly interval in our cloud we are still rejecting the cloud structure is not bullish i showed you on the daily interval as well and on hourly interval as well we are still in the negative territory below the cloud and rebounds are still being shorted on this thing so um if what what are the things to watch tomorrow on this right now well since it's failing just below 200 days moving average i mean upside is really tough to trade right now another try could come above 410 but nothing more than that and if we lose these levels like below like for example 404 even 406 and 50 cents so more weakness is possible again both sides are possible but upside is only a little bit stronger above 410 so that's the level you are still watching otherwise now we're heading lower apple let's go to the daily interval first and um it's reject it's tried to go up but it's rejecting underneath of 50 days moving average if i show you the structure lately structure on this is also being bearish here or negative i should say and what are the things to watch well if it can't get above this fifth well again intraday you can still trade both sides right we're using the tool and all of that um but tomorrow if well so here's the thing if apple can still hold above 20 hours moving average that's still fine but if any time it loses it 220 is the level and losing that level will also give us 217 right now structure is looking very weak on apple as well you can see still selling off underneath of those previous resistance it's below 200 hours moving average so at this point if this pivot has to form or confirm it needs to hold above this at least 20 hours moving average if we fail that we lose these pivots and uh, things may come down to the next level so technically overall structure is still meeting some sell-off pressure here you can see that right here meta meta trying to rebound a little, little bit uh, today uh, structure on this is though still in the just rebound phase um however is this a strong rebound let's go to the hourly interval it's rejecting underneath of the 20 days moving average right it's below 200 hours moving average as well but is this a start for an upside well because we have these two pivots form and these are the zones i talked about yesterday as well that we have a good buying happened here in this zone and today we found a support in that zone of demand area now from here on um you can follow this trend line as well guys on um, meta as if meta stays above 514 and 96 cents tomorrow again you have to see the lower time frame as well on the when the market is about to open if we stay above 515 dollars area it can continue up if we break below it unfortunately we are looking then the downside so that's meta netflix so netflix uh, doing better actually it's trying to find support at that 20 days moving average uh, even though weakness is still there but it's doing really good right now to try to go up so let's go to the hourly interval that blue box is still holding right that's the blue box i provided you on the hourly interval um one thing that i'm seeing that is not good is that we are below 200 hours moving average so 
At this point, it all still comes down to 670 and 81 cents for tomorrow. If we can hold it above this, we can continue higher. And then there's also another level 684 and 66 cents. Otherwise, if we lose 670 and 81 cents, at least we are again testing 670 and 98 cents. Google, let's go to the daily interval first. And Google still being in the negative structure, guys. Um, still being sold off underneath of the previous pivot zone, previous, you know, uh, significant level as well. Structure on this is still technically negative. Um, am I seeing a sign of upside right now at 200 days moving average? Well, um, some buying is happening, sell off is also happening. Let's go to the hourly interval. And so today some rebound tried to come Again, it's like, guys, the thing is that we are overall in the negative structure, right? So rebounds, you will have to see consolidation complete first, right? And for that, I would say we'll have to first have it go above, well, 50 hours moving average at this point, then some more strength is possible. Otherwise, otherwise no. Amazon. So let's go to the daily interval first and let's talk about it over there amazon a really good strong close again today um that trend line that i provided you yesterday we are trying to go above this what i'm really liking about amazon price action is that yes it's still in that resistance zone but what i'm liking is that these pivots are still holding really good into the previous blue box and above 200 days moving average so i won't be surprised if amazon continues higher from here so let's go to the hourly interval. I'm also seeing a good close and maintaining itself above one of the significant levels of 176 and 75 cents and also above 200 hours moving average. It's looking good for upside play tomorrow as long as we stay above 200 hours moving average now and we stay above 176 and 73 cents. It's a good upside play for tomorrow. Just my opinion though, all right. Okay, that's it for this video, guys. And yeah, Amazon is looking good for the upside play. Anyways, that's it for this video and I'll see you in my next video. So if you need access to my tools, links are in the description below. All right, bye.